Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the battery relocation kit that we were talking about. And you'll find every link, sorry, it's hot out here. You'll find every link you need down in the description below. I'll have everything listed, plus you'll see it here in the video. So, but for starters, we're going to use 4 gauge amp wire, which is what I recommend at the very least. You could go 2 gauge but let's get serious here. You're not going far with it, and this stuff can handle way more than this machine can even put out. So, we're also using two of these distribution blocks. These are small, and you can put them just about anywhere. So we're gonna put this battery under the seat in this Z-Force, and we're actually going to do two others as well, just not right now. He needed a battery, his battery went bad, and I said, you know what, why don't you spend a couple extra dollars, we'll relocate the battery to where it's supposed to be anyway, that way if he ever has to change his belt on a trail, he ain't got to deal with it in the way, and eventually we could get rid of that little shelf that the battery sits on, or you can add two batteries using this method too. So you could add two batteries. We're only going to keep one, and it's going under the seat. And we're going to leave that open so we can clean the mud out easier. We can check the belt easier. We can do all kinds of things easier. And let me show you right quick here. There's a cover right here. We took it off. It's got two uh, Phillips bolts, Phillips screws. And you pop that out and your battery goes right in there. That's where it was intended to go. And CFMoto actually got sued by putting it there by Polaris. So that's why they moved it from this spot. But we're going to put it back in this spot, and they already the hole is still there for you. So let's start by running our cable. We're going to run it back there. We're going to use our blue as our negative, which is just fine. You can use blue, black. Green, purple, pink, whatever you want. We're going to run it back in there. Now we're going to drop our battery down in there. Look at how she fits down in there, boys. Look at that. So, we're going to want to mount our distribution blocks for our hot and our ground. We'll find a good spot. Okay guys, now that we have our distribution blocks installed, which if you notice, these give you more legs that you can work off of. So adding accessories will be nice off of this. But also, you could add little fuse boxes and all kinds of stuff, which is exactly what we did, but we tied our fuse box in off of the solenoid right here. This is a fused link. It goes all the way up front to our fuse box, which we showed you in the uh, stereo install video. So go check that out to see how that's ran and wired. But as of now, we're going to have to start getting our stuff wired up. So guys, you're going to want to strip your wires, which is easy to do. <laughs> I mean, most of you are wondering why I'm showing this but I'm showing you how I do it and it's easy. So once you get your wires stripped, just like so, you're gonna wanna get your heat shrink put over them like that. And you're gonna wanna get your end that you're gonna put on. How I, how I cut my wire is I measure it just like so here. 
but you're gonna wanna put your end on there, make sure it fits, cause you don't wanna fight with it while it's hot, okay? So how I do this is I have somebody hold those or put them in the vise, whatever you wanna do. Get your torch. Always put good ends on your wires and always do it the right way. Don't half-ass it because you'll be coming back to do it again. You're going to want to heat this up. Once you got it heated and your solder is starting to melt, that's how you know it's heated up is when your solder is burning and melting. You want to fill it about the quarter of the way up with solder. About a quarter of the way up with solder. We're almost there. Which is going to take a lot of solder if you're using the tiny stuff like I do. I use the tiny stuff because it melts easier. You don't have to fight with it to get it to melt. Melt at a lower temp. Don't worry, this stuff will be fine. Keep the heat on there for a minute. And shove your wire down in there. Let her cool off. Keep hold it. And put your heat shrink on there. Just like so. It's so hot out, I'm surprised the heat shrink ain't shrinking by itself. Cheap heat shrink. go she's shrinking while well, she's shrinking let's do her up baby Ooh, there we go. Got enough in her. Blow her out. Poke her up in there. Let her cool off, baby. Let her tug on her. She's almost dry. Let me put the heat wrap on. That one's shrinking better than that other one. What the heck is up with that, huh? Did you notice that? Maybe that other one's defective. Are you going to let her go? Now we're going to have to let these cool. While we wait, we hydrate. Ah. All right, guys, so we're gonna find all of our positive leads, which are these three right here. You're gonna have this thick red one, these two little wires, and the other thick red one. We're gonna put them on just like so. So you're gonna wanna get your fourth one, the new one. <laughs> put it on that same leg it'll fit tight but it fits
All right, there all four of them are on there. I'm gonna pull that through just like that. Now let's take our two negatives, put our two negatives on there. I got the ground. Oh, there I go again, Ronnie. There I go again. You wanna get your blue ground? Put it on there. Just like so. Get your other ground that fell off. Put those on there. give you guys one good look at that just like so there you go now you got three other legs you can add stuff to power and ground isn't that nice and we'll uh, we'll come through with some zip ties tidy this up tuck it back in this corner make it look nice is what we'll do but for now Let's get to putting the stuff on the battery. Okay guys, we got our battery sitting here. We got our ground going over here on the side. We got our positive. And if you guys are wondering what battery this is, this is an AutoZone battery. And there's all the numbers that you need, right there. These batteries are about 130 bucks and they whoop the factory batteries behind so let's recap here we got our blocks right there for positive and negative we got to go in with some zip ties clean that up not a big deal now let's start it up make sure everything working Everything's good to go. I would say it's running good too. Now guys, if you ever have this EFI light on, looks like a spark plug. If it's on, um, if it's on steady, it's usually a low voltage and you need to check your battery. Make sure you still got a good battery because these systems will detect a bad battery and it will throw low voltage codes. And if you have a dead battery and it starts running real funny and you change your battery, you need to reset. You hold this button and this button down at the same time. And while you're holding those, click this on, the EFI light will flash and go out. Once you do that, it'll reset. If you don't do that, it won't idle, will it, Ronnie? No, you gotta drive it. You gotta drive it with two feet. So that's a quick tip for you guys. But there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you click that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And let us know what other kind of content you'd like to see because this is a heavily, heavily asked for modification that I've never done, never cared to do, but we did it because it really does need to be done. So. It makes it nicer, plus accessing the battery is nicer. Adding accessories is easier and nicer. But hey, all right guys, peace out.